Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today's problem statement is how we can have a customized numeric range, which can be used, uh, which can be used in our uh, existing dashboard for building a KPI where we need to change its value by say some percentage. So we have an example here. I have just taken a quantity, and let's say if I increase the quantity by uh, let's say five percent or twenty percent, then what would be my number? So this is what we are actually going to do today. So for this particular thing, I have taken a simple data set which has category, sales, quantity, and order month. Let's get started. Now for this thing, uh, to create this thing, we need to create a parameter. For creating a parameter, uh, we have to go to modeling, then create new parameter, numeric range, and we have to uh, give the numeric range. So let's say, let's give the parameter name as increase in percentage. It could be anything. So since we are taking a percentages, we can take decimal numbers, which is start from zero, ends at one, which is 100%, and take an increment of 0 0.0. 0.01 that is one percentage and default let's take it 0.01 percent let's and if we have checkbox this tick the gear it will add as a slicer let's create this so we have this thing in our place right now so if you see we have the slicer ready now let's say we want to increase any percentage in a given uh, so we need to create a new measure and how we can create a new measure actually so that can be done. We have to go to this home, create quick measure. So what does quick measure helps? It has a number of options, but we need to select. Let's say we have to calculate the increase in uh, quantity, sales quantity. So we can just take a multiplication. We need to add the base value. Base value is nothing, but we can take it as, uh, let's say quantity. It will take some of quantity. We need to add the parameter for this parameter that we have just created this thing increase in percentage value so we have this thing and let's uh if we adjust if you see here it will add our measure if we add this thing it will take some time and here we can see we have seen this sum of quantity multiplied by increase in my percentage value. now let's say it will give let's say we have increased by 10 percent so it will calculate the 10 percent of quantity if I just one one more thing that I can do, if I just uh, modify this thing, let's say let's add sum of quantity. So what it will do, increase my 10% in the sales quantity and add with my sales quantity. So let's do it. If I hit enter, it will be done. Let's close this thing, close this thing. Now, if I just take a visualization, let's take a card where I have taken this thing, let's include this value. So it's a 41%. Now, if we want to add a sum to verify data, well, we need to create at some particular level of a data. Let's uh, create a filter where I can add uh, order month. Let's say, let's create another filter, which will have category, okay. So let's say for t-shirt in December, how much? If we had taken zero, then it should, let's format it, it's 50. If I, let, let's say for December, it's 30. If I increase by 50, 20%, let's say 20% by slider, it looks like 30%. We can also have by 50% if I increase, that is 40. So it makes, looks good, right? So this is how you can create a custom range and by applying filter on the top of this, you can calculate. So where it is required actually. So let's say in, currently I'm working in one of the manufacturing unit and where they have that uh, production line capacity actually. So they can increase on a day-to-day -day basis with respect to their current capabilities. They can increase the uh, increase this percentage. So the overall production should be impacted on that thing. So they should be want to see, let's say if I increase my production capability by let's say 26%, how my overall production should change. So this is where actually it's helpful and it, it can be applied to whole dashboard and all the uh, measures and calculated fields. So hope you like this thing, uh, which is very common in our daily practices that we are doing. 
uh, follow for more Power BI videos. Thank you so much.